in the last stream we were working on setting up this big reactor from the bigger reactors mod to give our base a staggering amount of power this reactor is capable of producing over 11,000 redstone flux per tick and currently we have almost 9 million redstone flux backed up inside of the uh, internal buffer of the reactor and as i mentioned in the last stream this might be extreme overkill i have a sneaking suspicion that we might not even need to turn this reactor on again before the end of the pack that could prove to be incorrect but i actually think we're getting very close to the end of the pack i think it's a fairly short mod pack in total and i think really the big challenge for us now is just generating a ton of emc to work our way through this side of the quest book and try and get to the final power flower mark 16. we did also set up a refined storage system in the last stream this is doing its job quite nicely it is using a passive 11 redstone flux per tick which i think is going to last for a long time with 9 million in the bank but going forward this is going to make crafting a whole heck of a lot easier and so the plan for today is going to be to try and power through a ton of emc so what i'm thinking here is right now we have one of these cosmic dust generators pumping into a click machine that is then feeding into our energy condenser and that is working we are slowly but surely gathering emc we're almost at a million but to get the first power flower here we need 2.42 million and of course if we want to get the final power flower mark 16 we effectively need 31.69 quadrillion now i do think this is going to be a bit of a domino effect once we get the first power flower we can put that down we can start to accelerate it both with our pouch and with the sleeping ability then we can make more of those put more of them down accelerate those further and i think we should hopefully quite quickly move through this once we get a large amount of emc coming in but i do think we're going to need a pretty big jump start to that emc generation and so what i think i'm going to do is basically make a ton more of these cosmic dust generators because now that we have our transmutation tablet and now that we have our alchemistry machines i really don't think it's going to be difficult at all to make a ton of these between streams i did go through to the nothingness dimension and i did gather a bunch more of the nothingness blocks here you can see there's a large area that has been mined out i did have to go ahead and craft a new void harvester but thankfully these are pretty easy to make and going forward we can even make more of those if we need but the plan is to uh, take those the stars are super easy these are made of course with hydrogen helium and gravity hydrogen is one emc helium is two emc and so in total here that's six emc plus the gravity the gravity also super easy beryllium lithium and boron all have emc values we can get a stack of all of those super quickly make a stack of gravity make a stack of stars and then that would allow us to make 16 of these generators and so I think that's basically what we're going to do we could also make blocks of gravity of course again those are super cheap to make what i am going to do is i'm going to temporarily break this hopper just to allow us to start backing up on cosmic dust here and we'll also probably give this a little bit of a tap as well because of course if we're going to make more of these we also need a ton more blocks of cosmic dust and then once we've got all of that set up i think we will then look into the laser io mod this mod right here is going to allow us to not bother with these omnidirectional hoppers going forward and i think it should make it quite easy for us to hook up a bunch of cosmic dust generators to one centralized area where we either have a bunch of energy condensers or potentially even a bunch of energy condensers mark two to bring all of our emc together without having to go around um, and you know collect every single set of diamonds from every single cosmic dust generator in here we do have a ton of everything that's blocks which we've harvested and so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna make a ton of stars i'm gonna make a bunch of gravity i'm gonna make a ton of cosmic dust blocks i'm gonna put down a bunch of these cosmic dust generators probably around the perimeter of the base and then we'll look at connecting all of those up with laser io to really start to generate emc at a large scale so we've got all of the base setups down i've built essentially 20 of these everythingness frames they don't have the cosmic dust in and they don't have the stars on it just yet but 
now that we have the refined storage system, it's a lot easier to craft large amounts of these because all we have to do is put at least one hydrogen and helium in each of the slots required. And then we should, if we put our Philosopher's Stone, which I think is actually still over in here, we should now be able to just put that in and then shift click until we run out of hydrogen and helium in the system. Of course, this only works once we actually have gravity because the recipe for the star does need gravity in the middle, not the Philosopher's Stone. That's fine. Let's get some beryllium. I'll take two stacks of those. We'll also take two stacks of lithium and two stacks of boron. And then if we throw all of those in, again, if we have at least one of each in the middle here and with the refined storage system, the shift clicking actually works. We are out of storage space, which is not ideal. I am going to take the netherrack out for now because I think that's using a lot of the space and I think I'll just put that netherrack into a storage drawer for the time being we can put that right about here unfortunately that's not going to connect to the external storage but if we need netherrack we can always come back over that is going to free up space for me to put all of the lithium and beryllium back in and now we can craft up as many gravities as we like of course these don't stack that is a pain in the backside but these do only count as one item in the system and so we could in theory put like 200 more gravities in here without filling up all of the space once we have gravity Boom, we can start making all of the stars. And then once we've got a ton of stars, we can start crafting those, of course, down into the cubes. Thankfully, the cubes do stack. And so we can take all those cubes and just drop them down on top of the everything that's blocks. So we're getting there slowly but surely. I'm placing down all of the stars. I'm getting all of the cosmic dust. We didn't quite have enough, but I have just accelerated this cosmic dust generator quite a bit to get a bunch more cosmic dust to allow us to get more uh, blocks of the stuff because we have still not quite filled in all of these just yet but it is a bit of a pain putting these stars down without access to creative flight and thankfully project e does add a ring called swift wolf's rending gale this one right here isn't too difficult to make it requires an iron band which is a bucket of lava with some iron lava we don't have but of course we can go and get from our nearby lava pool and then in terms of dark matter we can very easily take four dark matter pieces drop those into the system and then other than that we need four feathers which we can make with keratin which we got previously when we were trying to make string and so if we just go and grab at least eight keratin out of our transmutation tablet we should then be able to use that in our compactor just as soon as we unlock the recipe to make feathers once those feathers are good to go and once we get our lava from our nearby pool boom there is our iron bend. We can then take the feathers and we can put those around the iron band with the dark matter to get the Swift Wolf's Rending Gale. This you can use to fly if you have some fuel in your inventory. I'm going to take some Etanalis fuel. And now if we take the ring and we right click, we can fly. Look at that. And I believe that yes, we can indeed put this in our ring slot, which is uh, this little button right next to the head. We can then put this in one of these ring slots over here. And boom, we now have creative flight so long as we keep fuel in our inventory. If we hover over the ring, you can see it slowly but surely burning through the store DMC. Every time it runs out of store DMC, it will just take another Etanalis fuel. Each Etanalis fuel has 3000 EMC. And so we could use blocks of Etanalis fuel as well if we wanted to, but that is a bit more expensive. But we do now have access to creative flight, and that's going to make putting down all of these stars just that little bit easier. All right, so now. It's just a case of putting these gravity blocks down. And as soon as these are down, we do need to put a lever on every single one. And we do need to put a storage drawer on every single one. But as soon as that is done, we should have 20. Well, technically 21, but I'm probably not going to keep using this middle one. I might even tear this one here down. So we're going to have at least 20 fully functional cosmic generators. Now, one thing we can do if we want this to look a little bit more thematic, we do have framed drawers installed and so what we could do here is if we make a frame drawer which is the same recipe as a storage drawer but with sticks instead of chests we could then take some of the everything in this block and if we craft it like this we actually get these framed drawers that look like everything in this block so if we put this here and of course if we quickly grab that lever while i'm at it i might as well go ahead and try and make 20 levers a stack of levers is fine. We can then do this. And that should begin producing cosmic dust. It does. And this drawer has the benefit of looking like the everything this block. 
All right, so we have 21 generators. There we go. Now we have 21 generators all online. All of them have the fire particles going. All of them are generating cosmic dust for us. And of course, now we could sleep and accelerate all of them. But before we do that, we should look at actually pooling all of this cosmic dust together into one centralized location. And as I mentioned earlier, the plan for that is going to be laser IO. So to get into laser IO, we first need to make some of these logic chips. These are made by smelting raw logic chips, which do require blocks of quartz. Right now, we've only got a little bit of quartz. I'm hopeful that we have enough. If we don't, we can always head back through to the nether. Clay, on the other hand, we do still have a little bit of, and thankfully does have a chemistry recipe. So if we do run out, we can always just go ahead and make some more with the kaolinite. Speaking of which, just before I use all of our clay by accident and uh, then don't have enough to make the kaolinite, I'm gonna go ahead and get one kaolinite and of course add that to our transmutation tablet so that it's ready for use in the future. Back over here though, let's make a couple of these raw logic chips. 12 might be enough, although I feel like we are gonna need some more redstone. That's fine, let's go and distribute these amongst the furnaces here and while we wait, for those to smelt, I will quickly whip up a bit more redstone with some more strontium carbonate and some more iron oxide. Boom, and boom, we have a bunch of logic chips. And so what we need to do here is we need to get a laser node for every one of these, actually. We need 20 laser nodes if we're gonna make this work. Each laser node is made with four iron, four glass panes, and one laser connector, and each laser connector requires redstone, iron, glass, and a logic chip. So we are almost certainly going to have to make even more of those. We're also probably uh, running a little low on iron, although I did see that over here we do have a bunch more iron and a bunch more gold ready to go. Um, I will go ahead though and get a bit more iron dust and get that cooking just on the off chance that we do need even more iron than what we currently have. We'll go boom, boom, and boom. Back over here though, we have some of these laser connectors and let's craft those into actual laser nodes. We are going to need more glass panes for that. Thankfully, glass panes are the easiest part of this recipe because of the fact that glass does have an EMC value. Boom, and boom. We are also going to need a laser wrench, which does require yet more of these logic chips. And so I think that we are probably going to have to go get some more nether quartz. For now, we can try and squeeze by with what we have, but I have a feeling, a sneaking suspicion, that we're probably not going to have enough here. Once again, we will smelt all of these up over in here, and uh, if we just give that a quick tap, we can get our laser wrench fairly quickly. And if I am not mistaken, what we should be able to do with the laser wrench is start to connect these laser nodes together. What I don't know is if I need a connector between these. I don't think we do. I think I can shift right click here and then right click here. And yeah, that's gonna connect those together. So I think any node that is within, I think it's about eight blocks, or I could be wrong on that, can be connected together. If you see the little red line, those are connected. And so now these can transfer items between each other. So we're gonna go ahead and put a laser node onto the top of every single one of these framed drawers. And then we're gonna make sure that they're all connected together using the laser wrench. You don't have to connect each one to each other one. You just have to connect the one closest to it to the other one closest to it, like that. Okay, so quite a while later, we have managed to gather more nether quartz from another nether mining expedition, and we've managed to get a ton more chips. So I've connected all of the nodes together. Those are all now connected via their little red lines, and we just need one more node, which we have. That node is gonna connect all of these to their own energy condensers. Now, of course, over here, this energy condenser still producing the goods for us, which you love to see. And then we can go and grab another energy condenser. And annoyingly, the way I've built this, there is no like center. The center's kind of off a little bit, but that should be fine. What we can probably do is put our energy condenser maybe right about here, stick a node on top of that like so, and then really just for aesthetic purposes, try and connect this to both here and here. It doesn't need to connect to both of those. It only needs to connect to one of them, but connecting it to both gives us the symmetry that we need. Now, what we need to do is get a ton of item cards. We need one item card for every single node. Item cards are fairly straightforward. They do require more nether quartz, though, and I have just crafted all of my nether quartz into blocks, despite the fact that I didn't need it in block form. And annoyingly, you cannot break that back down. 
oh, interesting. You can break quartz down into a ton of silicon dioxide, but you can't actually then make the nether quartz again using chemistry, which is unfortunate. And so uh, real quick, I'm going to have to head through back to the nether once again to get, get more nether quartz because we need at least 21 item cards, which means we need at least 42 more nether quartz. And another stack of nether quartz later, as well as a bit more netherrack that we can deposit into our drawer. We should now have what it takes if we craft some more gold nuggets here to get 21 item cards. We have the redstone. We can put that here and here. We have the lapis. We just made that with our combiner. These do not stack. That is very unfortunate. Let me clear some inventory space. I don't want to make too many of these because I don't want to waste things unintentionally. Uh, two rows here would be 18. So let's go ahead and just fill those in. So that's 19. We need to start putting these into our drawers. Let's do 20 and 21. Okay, cool. So for those unfamiliar with the way that laser wire works, when you open this node, there are six sides. There is up, down, north, south, east, and west. Whichever side you open the node from, it will open to that tab automatically. So this side here is the east. This side is the west. This side here, of course, is up. I have just come back from a different dimension, so I do have to turn gravity back on. There we go. But uh, essentially, we need to have the down section set to insert. So the item cards here, if you right-click them, by default, are set to insert. You can change that to extract, to stock, or to sensor. We're going to leave this to insert, and we're going to put it in the down slot, like that. Then what we can do is actually I am realizing now that we need the clicker here, right? So let me go and steal this clicker. And we are still going to have to use the hopper here for the collection. So we'll take that as well. But what we're going to do, we're going to move this energy condenser. And we're going to have the clicker. Oh, we're out of space, I see. We're going to have the clicker placed down right here, which I think points towards you. It does indeed. And then we'll have the hopper go down of course right here going into the energy condenser so i'll put the energy condenser there and then we'll put the hopper right about here uh, we'll move the pure daisy for the time being i don't know if we're going to need that again necessarily and then if we grab some more everything that's blocks we can put those down around here here and here to once again block those in we want to make sure that this right here is set to 20 ticks per second and right now that's set to insert which is good over here what we want to do we want to once again go to down because that is where our draw is but this time we want to right click the item card set it to extract and put that into the down slot that's going to extract that cosmic dust and send it to any insert card that has available inventory space that is connected via these red lines in our scenario that's over here so now this is working it is sending the cosmic dust over and it's dropping that cosmic dust into the omni directional hopper we of course do want to make sure that every single one of our speed upgrades is in there i think yeah we have more speed upgrades dotted around here and we can put a maximum of 10 into this hopper uh, never mind we can put 11 into the hopper Yep, 11 is the maximum for the uh, hopper. I did not know that, but that is fine. And so now we just need to go through and put the item card into every single one of these nodes, making sure that it's pointing down. You'll know it's worked when you see the little green line there. Uh, green, of course, being for items. And you'll also see a little animation of the cosmic dust moving up. And so we're going to connect every single one of these to that same node here. And that should start sending all of the cosmic dust from all of these generators round to that one clicker. So I'm being told by the Twitch chat that this card holder here could make our lives a little easier. It's not something that I've played with before, but if I put cards in here, they all stack. Oh, and then I can change them all. Look at that. You can set them interesting. So once they're all in there, you can just right click and set them all to, uh, to extract at the same time. That does make life a whole heck of a lot easier because we can just set them all to extract. And then can I like use the card holder to place them into nodes or is that not possible like if i oh i can just shift click that in interesting okay so we can just right click shift click in that does make life a lot easier the card holder pretty nifty all right so these are all connected up i did temporarily disconnect this one like i took the um the insert card out because i think that we're gonna run into a problem and that problem is that i don't yeah look at that geez that is um that is working like it's getting the cosmic dust a lot faster now i think that our energy condenser is not gonna be fast enough and so i think we are gonna have to use our pouch to make this quicker it's also possible that the hopper might not be fast enough potentially which might be a little insane it is causing a little bit of lag here but um if we use our pouch we should be able to make that a lot faster hopefully fast enough 
to keep up and we should start to generate a lot of emc i'm a little concerned about how much um time we have in the pouch we can of course try and accelerate the hopper as well there we go all right that is working and that is generating emc a lot faster we probably now though do need to look and uh, we can go ahead and take this energy condenser and drop that back into the system we uh, we kind of need to look at getting the next tier of energy condenser one thing we could do here actually again i'm going to turn this off temporarily i'm going to take out the um the down card we could instead utilize a bunch of regular energy condensers what i'm thinking here if we can get another laser node which does require another laser connector that's fine what we could potentially do is maybe put down a chest of some persuasion unfortunately we don't have very big chests the alchemical chest is quite big though actually if i do recall let me check and i assume we can pump into and out of the alchemical chest let me check the size of this thing uh, this is pretty big if i was to get rid of this and put the alchemical chest here in place of the energy condenser let's get rid of this and let's put the alchemical chest here and then let's temporarily turn that back on just to make sure i'm pretty sure this will work uh, that needs to be in the down section like that it does cool what i'm then thinking is we can take our laser node put that here and then utilizing item cards we can distribute the items from this alchemical chest amongst multiple energy condensers so we can have an energy condenser here 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 and uh, on top if we want to do as well so we get a five more energy condensers connected to this one setup and i'm pretty sure that uh, if we go in here and set this to extract we can then change this to round robin true and that will distribute the items pulled from here between all of the insert cards that are connected in this laser node so if we put the extract card in there and we go and make a few more item cards assuming we have enough resources to do that which of course we don't why would we let me quickly get yet more redstone from our combiner boom and we'll take a few of these let's take one two three and then we'll put the lapis in four and five so over here let's do insert there that's going to start sending some of those items over the uh, the downside to this is that uh, of course it is not particularly fast out of the gate so let's take a few more of these let's do this 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 and then we can put the one on top as well i guess like that and then let's set all of these to insert so up down and then we want west and north those are all set to insert now i believe that currently the extraction card is not going to extract fast enough to pull all of those elements out it's not a problem for the cosmic dust because the cosmic dust isn't generated that quick so i think the default extraction rate of these item cards is fine whereas over here we need to be able to extract a ton of elements into all of these chests very quickly thankfully if we go to add laser io again here there are card overclockers and node overclockers that we can use to make this whole setup a lot faster so if we take an overclocker over in here we can go to this side the side that's extracting and if we right click this by default uh, it transfers one item every 20 ticks which is one second or 20 ticks per second in minecraft we can go ahead and change this by default to eight items every 20 ticks but if we put a card overclocker in we can change this to 16 items every 15 ticks making it a fair bit faster not only that but we can put in i believe up to four overclock cards if we do this and now we can change this to a stack of items every one tick so now we can move 64 items every 120th of a second effectively meaning that it can move 1280 items per second and so that should be enough let me put the diamonds back in here to get these all working again and then we'll try turning the clicker on and we'll see if this is enough it's quite possible that even with five energy condensers this isn't uh, fast enough to keep up with the number of elements being made but there's only one way to find out and that is to put our item card back in the down slot there although it looks like i might have used the item card so i might have to make one more but that is fine this one is set to insert by default and so boom that is going to start making the elements again and hopefully this works it looks like it's holding pretty steady it might be filling up very slowly but surely but it does also appear on this side that even with five energy condensers it's not fast enough of course at some point we could look at upgrading these to five energy condensers mark two 
But for now, we can just go ahead and accelerate these to hopefully bring our EMC number up quite quickly. Okay, so I've done some accelerating here and we're up at 3.59 million EMC, which is pretty close to the amount required to get an energy condenser Mark II. I'm interested in trying the energy condenser Mark II because right now we do have to accelerate these energy condensers still to allow them to not back up on elements. And I kind of want to see if the Mark II still has that problem, especially if we have five of them. We are slowly running out of cosmic dust, by the way. So right now the system is going a little bit faster than it will do eventually. Eventually they, these will all hit zero and the system will slow down a little bit. So even with 20 of these generators, we're not quite generating 20 cosmic dust per second. But uh, let's dump these in here. Let's grab an energy condenser Mark I and let's see if we can't make the energy condenser mark two for that we need four dark matter blocks which is thankfully the easy part of the equation and then we need four red matter blocks which should actually be fine let's take three dark matter and some eight analysis and then if we do this and this once again that gets us the red matter this time let's not be foolish let's save the red matter and then now we need to get ourselves nine red matter that's going to get us a red matter block and then we can do the exact same thing again of course here take the red matter block oh no i forget the red matter block is just four red matter that's actually a little bit easier we can save that as well and then one two three four of those should be enough for an energy condenser mark ii if the energy condenser mark ii isn't good enough by the way we can always just put it back in and get all of our emc back which is very nice indeed so what i'm going to do temporarily i'll take the insert card out and i'm just going to accelerate this to the point that it burns through all of its elements so that i don't have to have them spew all over the floor let's break this and then let's replace down the mark ii let's put another diamond back in here this one has dedicated input and output slots and then let's put the item card back in the down slot and it looks like the energy condenser mark ii is keeping up with the elements like you can see this energy condenser here is slowly but surely backing up on elements but this one here is doing just fine it's actually pretty good and so i think our goal here is going to be to replace our current energy condensers with the mark twos especially because right now if we sleep to accelerate time all that does is it increases the uh, the speed at which these are going to fill up with elements, which is not ideal. As soon as we have the Mark II energy condensers on all five of these, then we can just sleep and we'll come back to a ton of diamonds without having to spend any of the time in our temple pouch, which is running out very quickly. We've only got 56 minutes left in here, which is not going to last us too much longer. Actually, never mind. It looks like one energy condenser Mark II is enough i've just taken all of the other item cards out of here so the only item card now is in the east side all the other item cards have been taken out so all of the items from the alchemical chest here are going directly into this energy condenser mark ii and it turns out the one energy condenser mark ii is more than fast enough so now i think if we sleep here we're gonna get that 7x time speed boost and hopefully when we wake up we should see a ton of diamonds in that chest and it might even be worth looking at putting in a higher emc value item so that we don't end up backing up on diamonds and we can just deposit them more easily look at that fantastic so we can take all of those diamonds and we can put all of the diamonds back into the system and we're already almost back up at 3 million emc so now our goal is going to be to look at this basic power flower which we should in theory have the ability to make so we'll leave that running for the time being let's take a look over here the first thing we're going to need is an eight analysis fuel block which is incredibly easy to make it's just nine eight analysis fuel like so i'll put that in the transmutation table next up we need to make a basic relay the basic relay is that aforementioned eight analysis block with obsidian and glass that seems fairly straightforward obsidian has an emc glass also has an emc we don't need that much of either of them but if we do something like this this and this that gets us our basic relay at mark one we'll save that and then we also need a basic emc link this requires two transmutation tables one energy condenser and some covalence dust so we can steal one of these energy condensers there's no need for all of these to stay over here now so we'll take you and then back over here do we have any covalence dust we don't that's fine it does have an emc value we'll take two of each covalence dust 
And of course, let's not forget those two transmutation tablets, which is where the bulk of the EMC cost here comes from. And boom, there is our EMC link. Let's of course make sure we save that to the system. And that should be everything, I think, for the basic power flower. It also needs some basic compressed collectors mark one, which need basic collectors mark one, which are made from these energy collector mark ones. That is unfortunate because we've made energy collector mark threes, I think, over here. We have. That's fine though. Let's get some more glowstone, which does have an EMC. Energy collector. Never mind. Chat is right. We have the uh, the tier one collectors right here, and uh, we can just take nine of those and then craft those directly into the basic collector mark one. Thank you, chat. That does save me a lot of time. Then we can do something like this. Of course, making sure that we do this first just to save that extra step in the future that gets us the compressed mark one we can take two of those and that should be everything for our first emc link we need five more of these relays that is completely fine we have the emc for it boom and boom so now this is going to passively generate 102 emc per second as you can see in at the top left there it says plus 102 emc per second and if we wanted to of course we could accelerate that with the grains of time and that's going to increase that number to 816 not that that's massively important given of course that we have so much emc being generated for us in this energy collector mark ii and of course we do want to make sure that we keep depositing that into the system to get yet more emc and of course we can continually sleep to make both the power flower on the ground faster but also of course our energy collector mark ii faster and at this point it's just a lot of the same crafting that we just did oh and of course chat is completely right that we can take this power flower and teach it to the system and then we can go uh, type in power flower oh we don't have 2.42 million emc that makes complete sense can we get up to 2.42 million emc with this we totally can and then we can just make a second one we can put that down as well and that duplicates the amount of power that we're generating still not a ton but now it's just a case of doing that a ton we need to do this so many times because we need to get up to the final power flower mark 16 and so now it's a case of trying to get up to the dark power flower which requires 3.78 million emc that actually seems incredibly doable let me do a bit of sleeping here and we might even go ahead and pick up one of those power flowers because that is uh is basically the 3 million emc right there once we combine it with the million that we already have and we just need to go through all of the different tiers crafting the same parts over and over again we need to make a dark relay and then a red and then a magenta and then a pink and then a purple and then a violet and then a blue all of these matters are made in the same way we made the red matter with the dark matter you make the magenta matter with the red matter you make the pink matter with the magenta matter all the way up to the fading matter which is made with white orange yellow lime green cyan you get the idea and they all have their associated relays they all have their associated emc links and they all have their associated power flowers and we just need to work all the way through that chain until we have the mark 16 variant so Let's take these, let's do this, let's steal one of these, and let's see if we can't make the next tier. So I assume that the next tier of power flower is the same idea again here. So we're going to need to get the next tier of EMC link, which is the previous tier of EMC link crafted up. So I'm going to grab a ton of each covalence dust because we're going to need so many of these, and I'll grab the previous tier EMC link, and then we also need some dark matter as well. At some point, it would be nice to get the transmutation interface, but the transmutation interface is just so expensive, unfortunately. It requires like 11 quadrillion EMC, so it's not really something that's um, available to us in, in any meaningful amount of time here. But so we can take the relay, craft that with dark matter, that gets us the dark relay. Of course, we want to make sure that we put all of these in like so. We need six dark relays, which... We do not have the EMC for, but that's because we're going to dump this power flower into the system in order to get a boost that allows us to get up to six and not seven, like so. And then we also need the compressed Mark IIs, which is just nine compressed Mark Ones. Uh, again, not enough EMC for that, which I really thought we were going to have. Let me uh, dump that back in, I guess, real quick. Uh, and that's not right. And I guess temporarily steal some more diamonds out of here as well. And by temporarily, of course, mean permanently. So do I craft nine of these to get one of those? Oh, I don't. Oh, never mind. This works out in a different way. You take the basic collector and then craft that with dark matter and then compress that. I see. So let me put those back. Instead, we need to take the 
basic collector. We need nine of those. I guess we need one of those, so I'm pretty sure that the uh, thing we're making has an EMC value. And then we take one Dark Matter, we craft that like this. And I guess going forward, it's going to be the same. We'll take the red, the, the magenta, pink, you know, lime, white, all of the way up. Uh, we take that, we give that an EMC. Then we take nine of those. And then we take those nine, craft those into a block. And then that's what we need two of. Yes, we take this, drop that back in, and then take a second one of those. And then I think that that is basically everything. We do also need a basic power file mark one as well, which we can uh, steal over here. We'll take this guy, put him into here, and that's the tier two done. And so, yeah, now this makes 306 EMC per second. It's about twice as much as the previous one. And that pattern kind of continues all the way up. We go from 306 to 1,020. That's kind of a tripling there, which is pretty nice. Then up to 4,000, which is like a quadrupling. And you can see how it kind of exponentially goes up from there. It looks like we do a fair bit of quadrupling actually on the way up here. But yeah, we just need to do a lot of project expansion crafting. Chat is right, I did waste a lot of EMC there, that's my bad. Uh, this recipe here is the same as this recipe, but this one just needs one extra relay, not the previous tier power flower. I should have used this recipe, and we would have saved, for this guy, approximately 2.4 million EMC. That is my bad, we'll use this recipe going forward. Okay, so I have been doing this for a little while now. It has been a long time since we cut away. We've made it to the Mark VI power flower, but we have had a revelation, and that revelation is that we figured out what affects the speed of the acceleration when you sleep, and you'll see now that we're like 100x acceleration. The speed is related to just how fast your computer is. And so if you have a faster CPU, you can make that number higher. All you have to do is just turn like certain settings down. So we have turned down the render distance and the simulation distance quite a bit to minimize what's going on. I've also turned off all of these uh, cosmic dust generators because at this point in time you know we're up at almost a billion emc the little bit of dark matter that we were getting from that system is no longer worth it instead it's worth just taking our pouch accelerating the power flowers that we do have and then sleeping to get that 100x boost the extra boost that you get from having the stuff turned off is just worth so much more you'll see that we're only getting about 83x i think 100x is the max and so it's quite possible still that it might be worth taking the bed and taking the power flowers and either like going just further away from the base so that it doesn't have to load this in because the game is essentially trying to simulate when you sleep it's simulating the game at 100 times speed that requires a powerful computer to do and so the more stuff you have going on the harder it is for it to get up to that 100x speed and the slower it goes and so if we move the bed further away to an area where there's nothing at all to be accelerated then it should go faster basically if we unchunk load all of this and so now i'm just gonna keep going i'm gonna go further up through the different tiers of power flower continuing to try and get to the uh, mark 16 but we do not have a faster way of doing it so it turns out i was wrong at the start of the stream we just made the lime power flowers we're about to make the yellow power flowers we're very close we're at uh, mark 12 but um because we've done so much accelerating at 100x we've actually managed to, to burn through 9 million redstone flux by just using 11 redstone flux per tick which is absolute madness we can turn this back on of course and we're going to get a lot of that power back very quickly but that i guess just goes to show how much acceleration we've been doing all right a very 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 long time later from when we started making these we have the mark 15 fading power flower which does produce 19.45 billion emc per second and of course we can accelerate that with our pouch to make that faster and we can sleep and you'll see at the top there we're producing about 30 trillion emc per second for a short period of time before it uh, it fades off now the only thing standing between us and the final tier here which is the uh, the mark 16 is oh my inventory is okay i think i pressed i there by the way to get rid of that is that right i yes okay if you press i while in your inventory it leaves the inventory there i'm not quite sure what that's about but if we want to get the final power flower no longer do we need a higher tier of matter. So up until now, we've just worked our way from magenta all the way up to fading, but we now need to get the final star shard. The final star shard is made with a nether star, but we don't have access to a nether star. And so I think we're going to have to leave that until the next episode, because I'm also fairly certain that we do need another star in order to finish the pack. So we might need two nether stars potentially, although I guess nether stars do have an EMC value. So as soon as we get one, we can get more in the future. Also, along with the nether star, we have to craft a colossal star omega, which is quite expensive in terms of EMC. It's 158 trillion per 
colossal star omega here and you craft this by going all the way through all of these different stars that go all the way down all the way down until you get to this recipe here with the mobius fuel and the diamonds and so it's just a case of crafting this putting it in the transmutation table taking out four crafting this putting in the transmutation table taking out four crafting and you get the idea you do the same thing all the way up until you get to the omega then we should be able to craft the final power flower and then we should be able to move on to the end of the pack for now we can leave this down and of course we can keep getting even more emc again we're 105 trillion but each one of these requires 158 trillion and so we're only one eighth of the way there to one of these final stars and then we need multiple of those final star shards in order to make the final power flower which requires 31.69 quadrillion emc of course we can keep sleeping to make that faster as we sleep we do back up on time in our pouch we get even more grains and uh, we can take those grains if we don't drop the pouch and use those to make this much faster and then we can accelerate via sleeping to get even more emc even then though it might take us a little while to get up to a quadrillion even with this uh this sleeping technique because uh one trillion per second ish it's gonna take a while to get up to over a thousand trillion so we might have to uh put down more of these which is, is very doable by the way we do have uh, the ability to buy even more of these mark 15 power flowers and of course we can put all of those down as well we can do some accelerating like that and then we can sleep and now you know we're producing many many more trillions of emc per second even without that acceleration we're already up at 11 which is very nice indeed so next time we'll come back we'll look at getting the nether star uh, for that we are going to have to get uh, and fight a wither we'll probably get some better armor before we do that we've got 184 trillion emc but we're still using iron armor we'll get some better armor we'll use that armor we'll fight a wither and then uh, we'll make our way through to the end we'll fight the end dragon as well uh, because i believe that is required to complete the pack we'll get the mark 16 power flower and i think there's a good possibility that we might in fact finish the pack in the next episode but that is a problem for future isaac for now i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this episode of universe io there 